Around the time the COVID-19 crisis was setting in, BC Housing made a deal with the Super 8 in West Kelowna to move some homeless people into some of their unused rooms. Well, a few months later, people living in the area have had about enough and they're signing petitions to bring it to an end. I have a petition that we started um, probably about 48 hours ago now. We have an online one. We have, now we're going around to get uh, uh, signatures from people who live in the neighborhood to show how it's affecting them of having a wet uh, facility there for safe uh, drug injection. When you um, knock on a door with your petition, yep. are, are most people signing it? Yes, they're more than happy to sign it. That's the people that live right here because they're apparently fighting every night of the week from like 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the morning. It was really disturbing to know that there are they're facilitating illicit drug use uh, that is you can't control individuals that are using those kinds of drugs. Um, th they can be harmful to other people, their people around them themselves, and uh, it's, it has nothing to do with the homeless situation. It's about the drug use. Um, there needs to be another place for this. It cannot be put in a family neighborhood next to schools, next to daycares, where we are expected to feel safe. I live right in that building there, so we have a view of the Super 8 from our bedroom window. It makes us a little nervous. Um, yeah. People have said noisy at night and lots of coming and going. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. Do you feel strong enough about it that you would sign a petition saying it's got to go? Absolutely. I feel that it's devaluing our homes as well. People that are elderly don't feel safe anymore to go out. Okay, but these people do need a home. They need a shelter over their heads. They do. They need a shelter, but they also need to be more considerate of the general public. That is the daycare center. Do you see that sign there? How many feet away is that? Well, it's just, it's just across Westgate, I guess. It's right there. And these guys are back and forth. Those little kids play in the yard. They walk them down the roads. And you say you found needles and things. On them. They find needles just on this side here. Gail Hinter lives in the mobile home directly across the street from the Super 8. She says she hasn't been directly affected by any of this, but she knows some of her neighbors have been. She says she could live with it if there was just more supervision. It has to be secure. It, they have to know what's going on. They have an office just off the lobby. They've got a clue what's going on in the back here. We do look for a, a long-term solution, uh, recognizing that this is uh, an interim solution to our understanding. And uh, the city, uh, at the same time, uh, certainly acknowledges that there is angst and we're aware that there is a petition. And uh, we do uh, understand the work uh, that BC Housing has to do is not easy. And uh, we hope to see a long-term solution.